Hola amigos de Trail Rain Review en Transvulcania 2017. Como sabéis, estamos con una de las grandes favoritas, por no decir la gran favorita, la que todo el mundo está hablando, la que todo el mundo asegura que va a ganar la carrera con Ida Nilsson. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you. Eh, Ida que ganó ya el año pasado y que eh, se llevó, se había olvidado el frontal y nosotros le tuvimos que dejar uno. This year, do you have your headlamp with you? Yes, I have both, both the red and the white one, so it's good. <laughs> uh, I'm telling to the, our followers that uh, you are like the big favorite to win the race. Do you feel like, like, like that? Yeah, of course I feel more pressure this year than last year when I um, just came here and uh, was just seeing what I could do. And this year I... I know the course and uh, I know I, I can do well. So, um, but it's also uh, it feels very exciting and, and nice to to be a favorite, and um, I feel ready. So it's going to be a, a good race. Uh, yeah, who 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 have changed between this this year and last year? Yeah, I'm a little bit more used to sky and mountain races, and also doing long races at. Like last year, this was my first sky race and I didn't know really what to expect and to be running for over eight hours. And uh, so that's better. I know a little bit, I feel more secure and uh, so, know so my body. You have more experience uh, right now. So you probably, you have more chances to win. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. Or it's, uh, I was just new and <laughs> very excited last year. So <laughs> we will see. Uh, who is your your first um, runner? Do you think uh, can take your victory? Yeah, I think there are um, several others that are uh, can run very fast. Like, of course, Annelies. Uh, she was uh, second last year, and uh, she is really good. And also, Andrea Hauser is coming to run mm -hmm. this year, and she has done uh, very many strong races. And uh, Hillary is always a good runner, so it will be many people, and maybe someone new like me last year that wasn't expected. So it's always uh, new people coming. And uh, probably it's a, it's a long race for for Andrea. I think she used to run longer distance. I think. Yeah? Yes. Yes. And and Ida, you are a Salomon team runner, yeah? Yes. Um, which shoes are you going to use tomorrow? Uh, I have a S lab with a, a good, a little bit better grip, so it's a combination shoe I like a lot. I like to be close to the ground, so it's going to be good. S sense, you mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, and um. Do you have changed uh, anything? I mean, the backpack is different. The, f the way you you will drink or something? No, not so much. Actually, it was something that uh, went really well last year. I always had like two bottles, like one water, one uh, sports drinks, and then just switch at the aid stations and kept drinking, quite taking like some gels and um, yeah, I, I was good at like uh, eating, drinking the whole race, and as I could be strong and push, so I hope that will work do, uh, tomorrow do you also. Have, do you have a an strategy predefined? Uh, no, not really. Like uh, I always think the middle part is my best part, So, we, um, but last year it was uh, already in the beginning, it was strong in the uphill, so because I always think I'm a bad in the uphill and I'm bad in the downhill, so <laughs> we will see this time how it okay. plays out. <laughs> and and distance Volcania is one of the f uh, focus races in your s schedule. Yeah, it's, it's like the one of the races you want to win this year. Yes, when I set the season, like uh, I've done a, a few small races before, and then uh, Transvulcania was like the main opener and a race I really want to do well at. And then I have a, a few more in the rest of the season. It's uh, also focused. Okay, and and the rest of, of the season, which races are you want you want you going to run? Yeah, I have uh, five ultras all the, around this uh, uh, distance from like uh, yeah between which seventy ones? to ninety k. And after this, it will be Swiss Alpine. That is mm -hmm. a new race for me. 
and after that Ultra Vasan in Sweden, uh, who's a 90k really flat uh, fast race. And then also I do Les Templiers in the North Face 50 miles. Uh -huh. So it's uh, a long spread out uh, all the, the long races. I hope that's going to go well. Okay, Ida, uh, good luck tomorrow. Yeah. I hope to see you at the end point, at the end line. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I don't know what happened, but want to see you there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Ida Nilsson, ganadora de Transmocan el año pasado. Y la mayor favorita para la edición de este año. Hasta la próxima.